Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And one show that's really pushed the boundaries as to what superheroes can do on maybe a television show rather than a movie definitely is the whole TV series surrounding the Arrowverse franchise. And whether it be shows like The Flash or some of the other shows on the network, it's really cool to see what they've been able to do. But one thing that's really awesome is that this show actually, and quite often, acknowledges the Marvel Cinematic Universe in one way or another, which we think is something really cool. Even though this is mostly a DC franchise, the fact that they still acknowledge that the MCU has been really special in creating a genre and this thing that allows all these crossovers to happen is a really cool way to pay homage. And there are so many MCU Easter eggs scattered throughout the Arrowverse, so today we wanted to take a look at some of our favorite ones. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Also, we want to give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know every single Monday over on our community tab on YouTube, we ask a challenging Marvel related trivia question. If you get the answer correct, you have a chance to have your comment featured right here on our channel. Today, our answer by TSZ Zeno was correct. And right as you can see, the comments featured here on the channel. So if you want your answer featured on the channel, head over to our community tab. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Feel free to answer and maybe your comment will be featured in one of our next videos. Okay, let's get back into the video. First, First up, we have the Incredible Hulk reference in The Flash. We've seen a lot of little examples to the Incredible Hulk show up from time to time in The Flash, particularly with Caitlin Snow's Killer Frost storyline. There's even an example from season four where Caitlin told a henchman, don't make me frosty, you wouldn't like me when I'm frosty, which is an iconic line coming from the Incredible Hulk or a play on the iconic line. And it's really cool, it's just an interesting way to pay homage to a character that is similar, but from a different universe nonetheless. This is from the Girls' Night Out episode where Felicity comes clean about her war with Killer Frost, and there's even a line where they straight up acknowledge the similarities to the Incredible Hulk, and it's really clever. I am awake. Oh my god, you're like the Incredible Hulk, that's... I said that with too much headspot. Nobody walks away from me, Frost. And real quick, before we jump into even more of these awesome references, we wanted to give a huge shout out to our Instagram page. If you guys didn't know, we just passed over 8,000 followers over on Instagram. So we'd really appreciate if you guys headed over to our Instagram, scroll through some of our posts, maybe hit the like button and follow us over there. We do a lot of really interesting content. If you love comic books, the MCU, DCEU, whatever it is, if you just like movies, it's a really cool page. We've been working really hard on it and it would mean the world to us. If you went over and checked it out as well. In a fight against Vandal Savage, we actually see Team Arrow and Team Flash decide to hide away in a farmhouse. And there's literally even a great reference to how there's a bunch of superheroes hanging out in a farmhouse. They even acknowledge that they've seen that movie before, which is a direct reference to Avengers Age of Ultron when they go to Hawkeye's house and it's on the farm, of course. And it's just a very clever play on a plot line that they acknowledge is kind of funny in that sense. Bunch of superheroes in a farmhouse? You look like I've seen that in a movie before. We've seen other little examples along the way, like the Infinity Stones being referenced in Legends of Tomorrow. We've actually seen in The Flash, Barry makes a reference to feeling his spider sense, which is obviously a very direct reference to Spider-Man and Peter Parker's Spidey sense. What just happened to me? 
me? My spidey sense is just tingling way off the charts. Barry, is there any chance that this is about the wedding? I mean also later on in The Flash, we see a really cool reference to the plot line from Spider-Man 2, the one with Tobey Maguire, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, and this whole idea of trying to match intellect with a madman whose innovations are warping his brain. They literally do a direct reference asking if they had not seen Spider-Man 2, which is really clever here. Then after a sequence where a lot of the heroes are celebrating their victory, they have a small dialogue session between Oliver and Kara, but they definitely drop a really common line that is straight out of the Avengers with the Earth's mightiest heroes line being dropped in regards to these characters. And then if we actually look at the Legends of Tomorrow's first season in the episode Leviathan, we actually see a team battle, this random looking robot thing, which is really interesting because it essentially brings up this idea of manipulating atoms to grow in size and essentially grow as tall as a building. Now, right around this time that this episode aired, there were fans all across the globe speculating what was going to happen in Captain America Civil War, and there were people speculating whether or not Ant-Man would have the ability to turn into Giant Man in the movie, which was a huge deal when that movie actually came out. And it was just really interesting that this episode seems to kind of beat the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the punch here, and it's something we think is really clever. There's a lot of these Marvel versus DC rivalry, which I don't understand. What is your take on that? I must tell you that I do like, and I have friends who do Marvel movies. Yeah. And I think that there's room for all of us, in a way. I would love for both worlds to collide, collide and be like Mar DC, Marvel, whatever. I think the rivalry lives in the fans more so than it does in us. Yeah. Um, for all of us who are making these movies, or I'm sure for the comic book artists and writers, it's there have been rivals in the past, but now it's just about celebrating these characters, mm -hmm. certainly for us. I mean, I'm sure when it comes to deep finances, when it comes to DC and Marvel, there's always going to be competition, yeah, but they need each other to survive as well. If one goes down, that means superheroes aren't popular. Do you think that maybe a Marvel and DC world could collide because given this villains, the real life villains that we have today seem a lot scarier than the superhero villains yeah. that we have, do you think it's time for everyone to come together and fight the bad? Uh, you know, I don't uh, own Marvel or uh, DC, but, uh, so I'm not <laughs> in any position one day to... Uh, but can we make this happen? I'm sure if it could be successful for everybody, uh, people would like to do it. I don't see why not. It's a great idea. But you know, it's like, it's like, it's red and blue. I mean, yeah. literally down to like, what, what do you like? What are you into? I think, you know, to put it all together, you don't want it to take this sort of homogenized sort of tone either. You know, you want it to I'd love to see some of these characters fight one another. That'd be really interesting. That would be to see. awesome, right? But you also want to make sure that you're that you maintain your own style and integrity. So what did you guys think of some of these references? Are you a fan of them? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys.